Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to update you with our garden. It's still very cold here in uh, Scanthorpe and uh, it's cloudy and uh, it is like 3 degrees. It feels like 3 degrees. Okay, I'm going to show you the bulbs that we planted the other year or last November and uh, they are flowering now. I'll show you that in a minute. So this is the these are the daffodils that we planted. And if you can see there is a tiny purple flower that is crocus. And daffodil is still going to bloom. There. Plenty of it. Yeah. Your children passing by. Hi. Say hi. They say hi. They are very nice children. And these are the tulips. I don't know if they are going to have bulbs yet, but we just see and. Uh, I will update you every week and these are the other crocuses if you can see and this is my apple tree starting to shoot and hopefully they will have some fruit this year and I will also update you with my roses. Look guys. So many shoots. I already took some cutting out of it. And I will show you that in a little while. There's also a rose. Yeah along this side as i said before everything dies only these roses survived in the winter and i don't know about my lavender if they are going to, to thrive but yesterday i cut them off and they're ready for flowering open sea and this is a raised bed that my husband made last November and I planted some hydrangea they are shooting now and I have also here uh, like pansies uh, viola I think they are shooting so let's open sea and this is the raised bed that my husband made. Uh, as you can see guys, this, this land is full of roots. So we cannot really plant many things here. So my husband decided to make some raised bed. Look at our rhubarb. They are starting to shoot. And this is the raised bed for vegetables. I don't know yet what I'm going to plant, but I know what I'm going to plant in that raised bed. I have some bulbs already, but it's not yet uh, ready for planting. I have to wait uh, two months, then I can plant them. I think I will plant here some corn. I have already seeds. And uh, here, maybe some onions or leeks. We'll see. And this is another pot of rose. This one is another variety. Someone gave me as a present. And this is my peony. You can see, last year they didn't flower. 
but my friend said they flower after three years so this is the second year i don't know if they will flower but we also uh wait and see and this is the uh, bluebells i recovered from last year and they are shooting and i'll show you the flower when it flowered all right on this area we planted some tulips and look they are shooting uh all all are shooting and hopefully they will have some nice flowers i'll show you the one that has flower already i think i've seen one yeah this one is a nice one so hopefully they will have a lot of flowers yeah my roses are shooting so it takes a while they rest in the winter and in the summer they are all in bloom and these are my pansies they thrive in the winter and hopefully they will flower again i'm not going to remove them i just want to add some soil and these are my uh, i forgot now what you call it i'll uh, tell you later and these are my uh, chives i planted this uh last september and they are shooting again and this some violas i might remove some violas because they need space i just put them here because i want to keep them for the summer so we will wait until they have grown a little bit and this is another one of another uh, area of pansies and chrysanthemum yeah now i remember this chrysanthemum i think one had disappeared i don't know but all i will only dig them not to remove them just dig the sides okay let's go to the other side these are the roses i took from cuttings i, I grow from cuttings as you can see there are some buds coming there yeah and i how many two four six eight ten two four six eight ten 12 14 i made some 14 cuttings it was last year and i'm all hopeful that they will all grow yeah i can see some shoot and also i planted some viola here and i think i will put some cabbages here because they don't want a lot of sunshine so this will be the cabbage uh, area and this is my herbals herbals i planted it here i think their season is gone so next year it will flower again and this is another roses another rose patio roses it's called and here guys are my cuttings of roses this year uh, last week I did it and uh, I don't know I'm not so sure if they are going to grow but I made them two four six eight nine nine cuttings and I'm hoping that will that they will all grow and today's project will be these strawberries as you can see the soil has sunk or sunken so what i'm going to do is to lift this strawberry or and then put some soil underneath and then uh, put back the strawberries again so this year hopefully they will have some fruits uh, normally they have fruits in the summer june all right and these are my husband's you corella pink free if you can read 
that that and they survive in the winter ah, and this my another rose and here on the side we planted some uh, fox gloves I don't know if they're going to survive but I can see it one or three there and this is the side of the road I planted some daffodils also but there's no flower and uh, next year they will flower oh I can see one there this came from the garden so instead of throwing them I planted it here and yes so hopefully there will be a lot of flowers here this summer because i pl throw some uh, cosmos in this long line so this one this area where my uh, gladiolas and runner beans were planted so this year i will plant again some runner beans hopefully i will grow from seed this, this time and here I planted some violas from the garden and hopefully they will so these are the bulbs that I'm going to plant in that raised bed that I showed you a while ago uh, this is Rancul's pastel blend and I think there are small tiny bulbs in there uh, how many in there it's 20 so these are the looks, the flowers, how it looks like. Yeah, and this another variety of dahlias. This one bag contains one bulb, one plant. So we hope and see that this grows. This one is another variety. It contains three, three bulbs in there. And this one is a white color it's nice and uh, a lot of petals and this one is also dahlia different colors three bulbs inside and this one is also another one how nice very nice like the pom-poms and also this one different color and this one also is tropical punch it says one bulb very tiny and I have here a different kind it's not Delia but it's called bleeding heart this is perennial so this grows every year so hopefully we'll have uh, this every year it will survive it is already shooting as you can see inside okay so that's the update of our garden and uh, after this we are going to take some soil that my husband bought and we'll spread it in the garden uh, imagine we filled this yesterday I show you those four raised beds we filled up yesterday and we were very tired so today we are going to take the rest of the soil and spread in the garden and uh, I will also show you how to transfer the strawberry later on okay so that's my video for today and I hope you enjoy it and I just want to tell you about uh, my weight loss challenge that I lost 3 kilograms, not too bad at all but I'm still trying to lose some weight although sometimes I am forgetting it but that's life we lose or we gain, it doesn't matter as long as we are happy okay, thank you guys my husband is already waiting because we are going to remove some soil and spread it from in the garden so that they have the fertilizer they needed okay and in the next video i will show you how to transfer the strawberry and put fertilized uh, soil 
Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.